Okay, I'm gonna give you some first date tips and questions to ask. Hang on. First of all, you all know that I am down with coffee. Down with coffee. <laughs> I love, personally, I love coffee. Go, 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 drinking it. But uh, as a date, I am down with coffee. So, I need you to level up your di first date game. And for those of you who say, well, I'm not gonna invest time. I might not like them. That means you did not pre-qualify harder up front. So, pre-qualifying out of the gate is key which means you need to get on a call with this person. And on the call is where you ask them certain things. You see if you like their voice. You see if you like the vibe. You see if they have the kind of energy you're looking for. You see if they have the kind of lifestyle you're looking for, okay? So some things you can ask even at that phase, even before date one would be, so what's, you know, what are your top three restaurants that you love in town? Now, according to what they pick, that's gonna tell you a ton of things about them. Are they basic and they like your basic chain simple restaurants? Are they somebody who picks eclectic things or they like sushi or they like, you know, very, very high-end Michelin star restaurants? That's gonna give you an insight into who they are as a person. It really is, I know that sounds strange, but asking them their three favorite restaurants in the area and then you can say, well, how recently have you been there? Because a lot of times people like to talk about pie in the sky stuff. Like, oh, I love this blah, 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 Michelin star restaurant. Oh, really? When's the last time you were there? Oh, God, I don't know, 2005? <laughs> I love to travel. Oh, really? When's the last time you were there? I don't know, 2010? You know, you've got to uncover. So you've got to pre-qualify first. When people give you answers like, hey, what do you do for a living? Oh, you know, I'm in sales. You can't just then move it along and ignore it. You have to say, oh, so well, what do you sell? Oh, uh, you know, computer computer software. Well, what does that mean, computer software? You know, I'm, I'm fascinated. Tell me more. Got to keep peeling back the layers. So pre-qualifying is key. That way, when you get to the date, here's how it should go. So a first date, in my opinion, at bare minimum should be lunch. Because lunch is like not such a rush. You can eat, you can talk, you enjoy a meal together. Or you could do drinks that lead into a meal or dinner. Or dinner. In my world, I set everybody up for dinner. If anybody says I want coffee, I'm like, eh, wrong answer. That ain't going to happen. So... Let's say you're at dinner. So if you're at dinner, now hopefully you've already pre-qualified. You know their favorite restaurants. You know their lifestyle. You know if they're legally divorced. You know if they want a relationship because this is part of pre-qualifying before you even get there. So then when you're on the date, then you want to focus on more specific things that you, know, that you don't know about them. Like, hey, do you watch much Netflix? Like, what's the latest show you're watching? Then you'll find out, are they a TV person? Are they not a TV person? Then you'll say, so what else do you have going on this weekend? What, uh, what's the last book you read? Are you a morning person or are you a night person? This is the kind of stuff that I think you should be talking about on a first date to see if now your lifestyles and interests will align. That's what should be the focus of the first date. Okay, okay, I hope it helps.